The Anchor Hawking Glass Corporation brings you Crime Photographer. What's new, Ethelbert? I was just reading here where a fellow in town won $5,000. Oh. How did he win it? He sent in the winning name to a radio contest. See, five grand is a lot of money for a name. Well, I don't know. A good name can be very valuable. What do you say, Tony? Oh, yes, indeed. You know, some people buy a good name and other people earn it. Like what? Well, like Anchor Hawking earned their name by years and years of great work. And that's why today, Anchor Hawking is the most famous name in glass. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Marvin. Every week at this time, the Anchor Hawking Glass Corporation of Lancaster, Ohio, and its more than 10,000 employees bring you another adventure of Casey, crime photographer, ace cameraman who covers the crime news of a great city. Our adventure for tonight, Too Many Angels. The Blue Note Cafe, early evening, and we find Ann Williams, news reporter for the Morning Express, perched on one of the high bar stools. Casey, with his camera and film case, hasn't arrived as yet, and Ethelbert, the bartender, for lack of something better to do, says, Walter, you better bring up some more lemons. And Ann says, Gee, I hate to go home tonight. Just hum the chorus, Miss Williams. Maybe I've heard it. Hum what chorus? See how I hate to go home tonight. I never can remember popular songs. <laughs> Ethelbert, that isn't a song. That's how I feel on account of my apartment being painted today. And I hate the smell of paint, and things are all upside down. I don't know how I'll be able to sleep. Well, gee, my sister Edna would be glad to let you use her. No, I guess you couldn't sleep on that. It's kind of... Oh, well, thanks. Anyway, Ethelbert. Maybe Casey will barge in with one of those all-night assignments. Oh, 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 I was hoping to catch you here, Annie. I got a great idea, Annie. What did I tell you? Speak of angels and you hear the flapping of them. Make mine the same, Ethelbert. Yeah, sure, Casey. Coming right out. Huh? Now, what's that about angels, Annie? You tell me. A great idea, you said. Yeah, yeah. I feel like stepping out for a change tonight, Annie. Dinner and a show. Later, we can drop in at the Top Hat Club. Why, Casey, this is so sudden. Sudden? No, no, I mean it. Now, what's the best show in town? How about Angel Face? Angel Face? Well, that's a musical. It won't open till next Monday. I'm with a bit of influence, Casey. I can get us in to see a preview performance tonight. Hey, that sounds exciting. Uh, how much influence, Evelyn? Oh, a hundred dollars worth. A hundred? Huh? Well, I don't get it. Well, I was uh, going to keep the news kind of subnormal until after I started getting weekly dividends. You mean you put a hundred bucks into that show? I'm what we call an angel, Casey. Yeah, I know what you are, but uh, how did it happen? You... Oh, you know how it is here in the blue nose, celebrities and such. They get on the confidential side, you know? So a few months ago, when Miss Carling asked me did I want to take a crack at the big money... Miss uh, Carling? Yeah, a blonde, Annie. First name Eva. Sings, dances. She's in the show. Oh, the man with a photographic memory. Thanks. For blonde. You must have seen her in here, too, Miss Williams. Pretty, but, you know... So you gave Miss Carling your piggy bank, and later on you got a legal paper making you a limited partner in angel fame. Ain't it all right? Uh, it's legal, as I say. So, if you folks will do me the honor, I'll be glad to escort you to the preview. Suits me. I think it'll be fun. I'll get my other coat. This is my night off if I want it, but I usually don't because why should I? We'll have dinner together, too, Ethelbert. <laughs> Anything to keep me out of my four walls tonight. The apartment's being redecorated, and I'm afraid to go home. Oh, Annie, what a sucker, that poor guy. I read the out-of-town notices. Angel face is so bad, they're going to have to produce it again before the critics can even call it a flop. Oh, for heaven's sake, well, don't tell Ethelbert. It costs 200 grand so far, Annie. Had all kinds of trouble, and on top of that, Carlo Chapman is the artistic genius behind the whole mess. You mean the nightclub owner? Yeah. Kind of a splash for a hundred bucks making that show, with or without Chapman behind it. Oh, poor Ethelbert. 
see isn't there something you can do, Casey. I ought to go backstage and turn Eva Carling over my knee and spank her. Don't be silly. Huh. I'll pay the taxi, Casey. Okay. Well, it seems to be quite a crowd going into the theater. Yeah, friends, relatives, and chief mourners. Now, don't let Ethelbert hear you. That was a funny driver. I gave him a dime tip and he handed it back. Said I might need it myself. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's go in by the stage door. Why the stage door? I want you should both meet Miss Carling. Miss Williams, she's a very charming chanteuse. What? That's a theatrical language for singer, Casey. Oh, I see. Yeah. Studying up. Yeah. Okay, Ethelbert, let's go. Now, uh, this, Miss Williams, is the, uh, behind of the scene. Sorry, no visitors. The doorman should have stopped you. Uh, mister, maybe you don't know it, but I own a considerable hunk of this show, and these here are friends. Uh, Mr. Casey and Miss Williams of the Morning Express. Morning Express? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Jack Blake, stage manager. Anyone from the press is always welcome. But please excuse me, so many last-minute details, and it's almost curtain time. Make yourselves at home. See, Casey? Angels always get in where fools fear to come. Uh, yeah. Well, let's find Miss Carling's room. I want you to meet it. Yeah, and wish you luck, too. Gonna need it with this turkey. Henny, watch your step with cables on the floor and sandbags overhead. The backstage of the theater is a dangerous place. Okay. Uh oh. What? Over there near the door. Go over the star on it. It's Carlo Chapman, owner of the Top Hat Club. Well, tall, dark. That and... crook is one man you're not gonna meet, lady. Oh. By the way, who's the star of Angel Face? Andrea Ballou. Hmm? Should I be impressed? You mean, does La Ballou have talent? Well, just average. She's Queen Bee in this show, though, thanks to Chapman. Oh, so it's that way. Yeah, just some gossip everybody knows. Well, let's move along or we'll lose Ethelbert among these gorgeous <laughs> gals. <laughs> What's bothering you, Ethelbert? Say, Casey, are those real? Those diamonds? <laughs> All that you're coming up, Miss Carling. <laughs> well, we've enjoyed meeting you, Miss Carling. Uh, we'll get on out front. Good you luck. You look lovely, Miss Carling. That's the very uh, original hairdo, sort of um, Veronica Lakey. Yeah, it certainly hides your sort of blonde, I mean. Yes. Well, if you wish me luck, I'm sorry I'm not myself. We understand. Preview of butterflies, huh? Yeah, something else. Nobody can kid me. This show is going right down the drain. Right now, I know it. I sure wish you had your money back, Ethelbert. Well, gee, Miss Carling, where does life... Life? Is... Yeah. Huh? Angel Face might live if Andrea Ballou dropped dead. She's a double-crossing microbe with a neat pan and a mink coat. Don't you like her? Ever since I can remember, Ballou has been in my way. I should have had that star part, so I'm lucky to be her understudy. Someday I'll take care of that she-devil. She can't push me around. I won't take it. Sorry to have to shoot you out, folks. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We understand. Well... What's wrong with you, Eva? Nothing. Nothing at all. You ought to know everything's just that. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Casey, Miss Williams. Everybody's keyed up tonight. Uh, follow me. We can go down these stairs. I don't know if it would help or not, Mr. Blake, but uh, suppose I take a few shots of your star. Miss Ballou? You mean now? Why not? Why, yes, we can use some publicity. Uh, that's her dressing room. I'll see if she's ready. Ooh, this is your night to howl, all right, Mr. Wolf. What? Why, Annie. Only trying to help Ethelbert's investment. Mm -hmm. Miss Ballou, I have a gentleman outside. Ah, the diplomat. I'd better put my head inside and ask if it's safe. You know how temperamental he is. Miss Ballou, I was wondering if... Mr. Casey, something's happened. Come here. What is it? She's on the floor. She's fainted. I'd better call a doctor. Yeah, you better. I'll be right back. No wonder she fainted. Must have had an awful fight with someone. This dressing room's a mess. I wonder what happened. This is what happened. Step over here. Look. Good. Oh. oh my gosh. Hey, hey, the show started, Casey. What are we gonna do? Miss Ballou can't dance with a knife in her back, Edelbert. Uh, angel face has too many angels, including a dead one. <laughs> Our 
story will continue in just a moment. Here's how to enjoy beer at its best. I know, pour it right out of a clean glass bottle. Yes, that's important, because glass and glass only can bring you beer and ale that taste as beer and ale should taste. Clean, clear, sparkling, unaffected by foreign flavor, beer that's brewery bright. And now you have a new kind of bottle, the Anchor Glass One-Way No Deposit No Return Bottle. One-Way means it's sanitary. You are the first and last to use it. When it's empty, drop it in any waste receptacle as you would any other food container. No deposit means no more deposits to pay. No return means no more empty bottles to save and clutter up the back porch or cellar. Or lugging back to the store for refunds. And this compact bottle saves space in the refrigerator. It's easy to open, safe to drink from. It protects that true brewery flavor. As only clean glass can protect it. Yes, the revolutionary new Anchor Glass One-Way No Deposit Bottle is sweeping America. For perfect flavor, demand beer in glass bottles. For extra convenience, demand your favorite brand in the new Anchor Glass One-Way No Deposit Bottle, a product of Anchor Hocking. The most famous name in glass. Let me through here. Which dressing room doors? Which? Say, who's in charge backstage? Get these people out of here. Let me through. Who's he, anyway? Ah, Miss Williams. You got here mighty quick. Oh, this way, Captain Logan. Ooh, so did you. I suppose Casey's somewhere. He most certainly is. In here. Hello, Logan. What are you doing here? I'm a news photographer, remember? Ah. Uh, I just happened to be driving by and got the radio report myself. How'd you find out about it? Ah, a knife thing, huh? Yes. Yeah. You were attending the preview of this show. I asked Blake, the stage manager, if I could take some pictures of Mr. Ballou. We knocked and nobody answered, so we came in. Now uh, this. Well, that tech squad will be here in a few minutes. In the meantime, I hope you haven't disturbed anything in here. Wait a minute, Logan. Act your age. You know me. There's a few pictures, that's all. Maybe I can save you some time, uh, the though. The looks of this place it must have been quite a fight. Now, get that stage manager in here. I'll get him, Captain. A fight between two gals. Gals? Yeah. Look here. Uh, uh, strands of yellow hair caught in the nails. A blonde. Here's the stage manager, Blake. Uh, we'll wind this business up, Craig. Oh, uh, uh, Blake, round up all the blondes in this company. I, uh, I think there's only four of the girls. Well, the one I want has scratches on her, on her face or arm. She's probably trying to hide them with makeup. I'll catch the girls now before they leave the theater. Uh, there's Miss Carling who might have something to hide behind a cocker spaniel uh, head. We'll or... get to it. Now, about this knife... Oh, hello, Chapman. Oh, you're here, huh? Why shouldn't I be? I have an interest in this show. They tell me there's been an accident. That's too bad. You ever see that weapon before? I didn't come here to answer no questions. But I'm one of those fellows who like to help the cops. Yeah. I'd have fallen out with Andrea tonight. I got nothing to hide. That's my knife. I recognize it. Had it in my desk at the Top Hat Club. Disappeared three weeks ago. Your lawyer tell you to say all this? If you figure you can hang anything on me and make it stick, just say the word. Chapman, I'll talk to you later. Right now, all I want is a blonde. Yeah, that's all most men want, Logan. Outside a minute, Logan. I'm going to have to Hurry it up. Listen. Miss Ballou was killed, Logan, by a single clean knife thrust in the back. Well? Now, is it logical, after a wild fight between two women, that the knife was only used once? No other cuts or slashes? Well, I'll bet you little Eva can't even peel potatoes without cutting a finger off. Can't I go home now? Can't you just let me go home and rest? We were just talking about you, Miss Carling, and uh, I... Uh, hold on, Casey. Uh... Casey, look out! Oh! Look out, Casey. Oh, it was a heavy sandbag. I saw it start to slip from up there. Yes, yeah, well, we're okay You're... anyway. Well, it must weigh a hundred pounds. Yeah, they use it for counterweights and the curtains. Yeah. Look at it torn. Yeah. It didn't wear out or come loose. It was cut with a knife. 
Flanagan, get some more light on back here. Come on, Casey. We'll take a look up there in the catwalk, all right? I'll go up to the flies this way, Logan. If anybody's up there, we'll soon find out. Right. Careful, Casey. Up here, Casey. Not anymore. We'll somebody got out through this door to the roof, so got away over the fire escape. Yeah. Now, now look, listen. Will you give me a break now? Uh, it depends. Eva Carling couldn't have cut that sang- sandbag loose. She was standing right beside us. Yeah, that's right. She's pretty worked up. I'll tell Annie to take her home. You can pick her up later if you want her. Okay. Let's go over and have a talk with Carlo Chapman. <laughs> Pin-ups along the walls. Yeah, the Top Hat Club seems to feature dance teams. Pictures mean anything? Yeah. Here's a shot of the late, unlamented Miss Andrea Ballou yeah. picking up her pretty ankles with a dancing partner. Boy, he looks kind of familiar. Oh, good evening, Mr. Chapman. I'm admiring your picture gallery. Sure. Look around, plenty. Sorry, I wasn't here. Been doing a little exercise. Yeah. Up and down fire escape. What? Never mind. I uh, say, who's the uh, lad with Miss Ballou in this shot? He used to be part of the team. Blue and Ballou. I gave him their start here at the club. Blue and Ballou? <laughs> Sounds funny. And he got hurt. Couldn't dance anymore. So Miss Ballou had to do a single act. Now, uh, let's cut out the small talk. I don't know nothing more about the night, Captain Logan. Any idea who might have taken it? No. What did you and Baloo quarrel about in her dressing room tonight? I told her if she didn't behave, she was through. Well, who could take her place if she was? Her understudy. Eva Carley. Did you promise Eva anything in case Andrea Baloo was out of the picture? Well, if you want to put it that way. Yeah. If we ever open the show again, Miss Carley will be a sensation. The star of the year. I see. Come on, Chapman, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. And after I've taken you to headquarters, I'm also picking up Eva Carley. Casey, there's no use sulking. I'm not sulking. I'm going to pick up Eva at her apartment and book her on a charge of homicide, at least. If we get more evidence. Yeah, she and Miss Williams should have had plenty of time to get there by now. Yeah, I guess so. Now, look, Casey, Miss Carling was Chapman's new girlfriend. She knew Baloo was in her way. She had a motive, all right. So she took Chapman's own knife, stuck it in Baloo's back, all of which is point the finger at Chapman. I'll go this far with you, Logan. We'll leave a... may have a hunch who did put Baloo out of the way. Right now, I'm trying to dig something out of my memory, though. Ever since we were in Chapman's office, I've been scratching my head. So where are we? Eva Carling. Is that the building across the street, Flanagan? Yes, sir. The address Miss Carling gave us. 317, apartment 4B. Looks like a four-story walk-up. Oh, come on, Casey. Let's start climbing. Whoever it is, I don't want to see anybody. I'm afraid. I didn't do it. I told you everything. I told you the truth. You believe me, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, of course I do, Eva. Maybe it's uh, Carlo Chapman ringing the bell. No. He wouldn't ring this way. Why not? He doesn't have to. Oh. Whoever it is, let them ring. Don't answer it. Williams, Miss Carling haven't gotten here yet. All that climbing we did for nothing. Well, instead of coming here to Carling's apartment, they probably went to Annie's place. She's got an extra room. Ah, that's where they are. Uh, climb in. Hey, Logan, I think I've got it. Got it what? Uh, uh, look, remember that, that photograph in Chapman's office, the dance team of Blue and Baloo? Well, uh, let's go, Flanagan. Well, look, he said the kid got hurt some years ago. Wasn't able to dance anymore. 
Well, I've got a memory for faces. You know, you get that way in my business. Now, I... hold it a minute, Flanagan. Well, Casey, that fellow going into the apartment house, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that, that's Blake, the stage manager. Yeah. That's Blake, all right. Uh-huh. See how he drags one foot? I didn't notice it before. Yeah, he does walk with a kind of limp. I wonder why he's calling out Carling's apartment. Logan. I'm beginning to get one of those hunches. You and your hunches. What is it this time? So strong that if I weren't sure that Annie and Miss Carling aren't up there, I'd follow Blake up those stairs again. Why? Because according to my hunch, Blake is the murderer of Miss Ballou. And Miss Carling's life and Annie's too won't be worth a nickel if Blake finds him. Well, let's have it, Casey. At least we know the gals aren't up there. All Blake can do is walk up there and ring the bell as we did. If there is any reason to think he had anything to do with the murder, we can pick him up when he comes down. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The girls are safe enough. But well, Logan, look, here's the basis of my hunch. As I was telling you before about that photograph of Captain Bob. There they are. There they are again. Don't let them know we're here. The police are calling. I think we should ask them. No one wants to hurt you. If it is the police, they'll only want to ask you some more questions. All right, Miss Williams. Yes, sir. Set them in. There couldn't be worse than sitting here with you. Good. I'll ask who it is. Who is it? It's Blake. Oh, gee, it's only Mr. Blake, your stage manager. Oh, I'm coming, Mr. Blake. Come in. Get over there and sit down with Eva. But I don't see what... You see this, don't you? Get over there. It's a lot more effective than a knife. What do you want, Jack? You saw me go into Baloo's dressing room just after you came out, after you scrapped with her. But you'll never tell the police. No, I... I didn't see you going, Jack. I tell you, I didn't. I thought I'd pick you off with that sandbag, but now I'll have to try again. You're a fool to think you can use that gun to get away Listen, with it. I waited a long time to take care of Andrea. Seven years. She knew Chapman crippled me so I couldn't dance again. Well, she'll never dance again either. When I leave here, I'll take care of Chapman. I couldn't make the cops think he used his knife on Andrea. Too bad you had to be up here tonight, Miss Williams. But that's how it is. <laughs> Hunch, Blake, or Blue, if you prefer, had his dancing career cut short by an accident. Now, suppose he nursed a grudge against Ballou, seeing her go on and on and up and up in show business, when all he could ever hope for was a job as a stage manager now and then. You know, Casey, at this hour in the morning, I admire your energy to think up such an idea. Well, like I said, Logan, it's just a hunch. Yeah. I'm not completely sold on it myself. I wonder what's keeping Blake so long up there. He's wearing that door buzz around. Casey, that's a theatrical apartment house. Lots of theater people live there. He probably lives there, and he's in bed asleep by now while we sit out here in the cold. I'll pick him up tomorrow for more questioning, but right now I'll settle for Eva Carling, and then I'm going home. Flanagan, you know where Miss Williams lives. Step on the starter. We're going there. Chapman recognize you backstage? Huh. He never notices anything unless it wears skirts. But uh, as a stage manager of Angel Face, surely Miss Ballou would remember you with her former partner. Sure, she knew I had the job. She didn't mind. She thought it was nice to have me under her thumb, like throwing bones to a dog. But then... Uh, uh, what, what about... You stall long enough. We're going to have some radio music. I'll turn it up real loud for a few minutes. No... No, I'll never tell about you, Jack. I'll go away. Miss Williams, promise him I'll do anything but make him listen to me. No, no, don't, please, Jack. Don't shoot. I'll do anything. All my life, Jack, I'll do anything. I'll leave Jack. No. I got him, Logan. Maybe he's going to find again and get the cuffs on it. I'll take care of him, Captain. And let's turn off that radio. Thank you, Captain Logan. Are you all right, Annie? What about the girl? Is she hurt? No, no, I mean, yes, I'm all right. I guess Eva fainted now. Casey, you and the Marines. He almost made two more angels out of us. Casey, don't ever tell a newspaper. I'm bawling. I won't, Annie. It's a good thing I remembered one thing, Annie. Yeah. You remembered just in time. Remembered? Remembered what? Well, never mind now, honey. Come on. I think we can just make the blue note before it closes. We'll join the crowd of the blue note in just a moment. It's not far from Thanksgiving, and all reports are that turkeys are plentiful and big. And that means in most homes, 
there'll be lots of delicious turkey leftovers. And many a smart housekeeper is going to make delicious, tasty dishes from leftover turkey because she's going to oven bake them in a big Fire King casserole. And how the family will enjoy those big, steaming casserole dishes, particularly when they come to the table warm, fragrant, and appetizing in beautiful pale blue Fire King oven glass. Now, Fire King oven glass is amazingly easy to clean, amazingly sturdy. Now, you'll find Fire King oven glass in 5 and 10 cent stores, department stores, and all other stores selling household glass. Fire King prices are amazingly low, and every piece is guaranteed for two years against oven breakage. Insist on genuine Fire King oven glass by name. Fire King oven glass is a product of Anchor Hawking. The most famous name in glass. So Blake was deliberately crippled by Chapman, huh, Casey? That's right, Ethelbert. According to what he told us, he knew when three mugs held him up, knocked him out, and didn't take his money. But it was a frame-up. He'd been injured on purpose. Oh, that's horrible. That was seven years ago, you say? And there's no way to pin it on Chapman? Well, if Miss Ballou was alive, she might, but... But why did Chapman bother with Blake seven years ago? Well, Blake... And Ballou had an ironclad contract that neither could break. Mm-hmm. Miss Ballou met Carlo and saw her big chance to latch onto the big time. But Blake was a drag, so Chapman helped out by fixing Blake so that he was through as a dancer. Because that nullified the contract. There's a five letter word for a louse like that. Or is it six? Well, he'll get his. Some night in a dark alley. To think Chapman can walk around unfettered while poor Blake winds up in the chair. Yeah, for murder. He almost got me with a sandbag. He was just going to add Eva Carling and our own Annie to his list. He was sure anxious to cover his tracks. When you broke in, and it was heavenly timing. (laughs) Yeah, Casey, how come? Well, Logan and I started to drive to Annie's place, but at the last moment I remembered that her apartment had just been painted. She wouldn't go there if she could help it, so I... As I knew, you must be at Eva's place, Annie. We did a quick turnaround and got there in time to hear the radio tuned up. Well, boys, don't think it hasn't been fun. But I'm going home to my new smelling apartment and collapse. Uh, wait a minute, Annie. I've got a bright idea. Oh, I know. You feel like stepping out tonight. No, tomorrow night, Annie. We'll have dinner and a show. What's a good show? How about Hello, Broadway? There's a preview performance. Uh, uh, wait a minute, Evan. Wait. Don't tell me. Not again. Well, as my sister Edna says, quote, Most of us keep one eye on the temptations we pray not to be let into. Unquote. Prime Photographer, starring Stotts Cotsworth as Casey, is brought to you each Thursday by the Anchor Hawking Glass Corporation, makers of Fire King Oven Glass, Anchor Glass Containers, Anchor Caps and Closures, all products of Anchor Hawking, the most famous name in glass. Photographer is directed by John Deets. The original music is by Archie Blyer, and the program features Miss Jan Minor as Anne and John Gibson as Ethelbert. Herman Chittison is the Blue Note pianist. Tonight's story was written by Albert Barker. This is Tony Marvin saying good night for the Anchor Hawking Glass Corporation of Lancaster, Ohio, with offices in all principal cities of the United States and Canada. This is CBS Columbia Broadcasting System.